Hey everybody, welcome back to Training Battles. Here is the second episode of today's double upload. Um, hope you guys are having a good Friday and a good week. Uh, I will be driving to Salt Lake when this goes up, most likely. So, yeah. Um, let's hop right in and let's uh, let's have a good time. Let's see if we can hit 1700 the, today. We are getting really close. Because... I would like to hit 700 because it looks nice. Oh ho ho! The man himself, Aaron Cybertron Zang. Oh gosh, Aaron, Aaron, I hope you're recording. This will be this will be interesting. So I know this this is this Trick Room Hill team. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. So how do we stop Aaron Zang's Hill team? He's choice band self destruct. Uh, Snorlax. I know that. Oh gosh. So Aaron and I have played once. We played at Worlds in 2017, round one. So, so he, I, he is familiar. We are familiar with each other, and we have met in person. So, oh gosh, how do I lead this? How do I lead? I kind of want to lead Gardevoir. Gardevoir, S Snorlax. Oh, do I lead Incineroar Snorlax? I kind of just want to lead Incineroar Snorlax. I can take any final gambit. Alright, I'm going to do it. I'm going to lead Incineroar Snorlax. See if I can stop his Trick Room. Uh, I don't even think I want Ring Gardevoir, actually. Amoongus is good. Uh, I'm just worried about... I'm really worried about the Incineroar, at least. Hmm. Landris isn't. Uh, I'll bring Gardevoir. This the spam. Yeah, because being able to just spam Hyper Voice is great. All right, well, <laughs> good get, good luck, Aaron. I don't know if you'll if you'll watch this or not, but uh, let's let's see how this goes. This will be interesting. His team's super crazy. It looks it looks it's really cool though. I've been watching I've been watching him use this team, and it's it looks like a lot of fun. So, all right, so he will lead this. He goes Mimikyu and Cineroar. All right, let's see who's in Cineroar is faster. He may also opt to go right for the knockoff, fearing my belly drum. So I am faster, so I can actually fake out. I can't fake out in Cineroar. Belly drum. Uh, he also might, he'd probably also probably, he might opt. I, my guess is he's going to burn the Snorlax, though. I don't think he'll set up- he's not going to set up Trick Room. So... I could capitalize off that by switching right out into Gardevoir and just knocking off the Mimikyu. I'm going to do that. I mean, he's going to go for- I imagine he's going to go for Fake Out, though. That's the thing. So I'll save Snorlax, and I'm going to switch out into Gardevoir, especially if I can Trace Intimidate. I, actually, I will Trace Intimidate. Alright, I'm going to do that. Because I'll Trace Intimidate, and I'll put them both at minus two. He switches out into Snorlax. Mm. So I'm actually going to Trace Thick Bat instead. Oh, is he going to go for Trick Room? I'm really afraid of him going for Will-O-Wisp. We'll Trace the Thick Bat. Yeah, he does go for the Willow. Okay. That's what I expected. <sighs> Problem is he can ex he can blow up Trick Room this turn. Um oh, do you think I wonder I don't know if Hyper Voice Flare Blitz will take out Mimikyu though. I am afraid of him blowing up. Because he does have his choice band self-destruct. <sighs> that would not be very fun. Oh man. I think I'm gonna double Mimikyu. The problem is I'm at minus one with Incineroar. So I don't think I don't know if that KOs. Oh actually Psyshock would probably do more damage. Alright, I'm gonna Oh, I'm so afraid of him switching into Incineroar actually. I feel like I need to keep Incineroar though. It's just too valuable. Alright, I'm gonna go into Moogus. And I'm going to I'm gonna protect. I don't I don't know how I like about this. Cause he could just switch Mimikyu out into I don't think he is. 
Uh, I don't even know if I can take this hit. Uh, let's see. Oh, he's going for the Z move. Okay. So I do protect myself from that at least. And he is at minus one. Let's see if he opts to self destruct here or attack. The good thing about. he knows, So now he knows my four Pokemon too, but the good thing about this is if Moogus lives this turn, I can redirect. He may just blow up. And then. Because he could blow up. Yeah, he could blow up. I don't know if Moogus is going to live this though. But I'll get a free switch back into Incineroar. Uh, I do hang on, and I'll get my berry back. Okay, he's gonna go- he's gonna switch out into Incineroar. <sighs> yeah, he'll- he'll definitely switch out into Incineroar here. Hmm. I don't mind if he takes out a Moongus at this point. So that Protect was really clutch. Hmm. Gosh, I feel like I'm really zoned in. <laughs> Oh, he brings in a bomb of snow. Interesting. He is a bomb of snow. Oh crap! Bomb of snow. He might opt to not mega evolve and blizzard. I think either way, a hyper voice. I think I'm gonna. I think a hyper voice. Either spore or rage powder. I think I want to spore the Mimikyu because at this point, I don't want him to get trick room up. Just because, yeah. And I'm just gonna hyper voice. Let's see how this goes. Uh, I don't know how valuable... Because he can also... He can't just straight Blizzard here and try and kill my Amoongus. Because it probably should. He may, he may not even have to Mega Evolve to do it. So I'm just going to get off Hyper Voice. And I know his Bone Slug is Soundproof, but obviously he's not Soundproof. Yeah, he was going to Mega Evolve. So he could get a double KO here. But, it may not be the worst thing. I'll get a lot of damage off with Hyper Voice here. Yeah, so we'll get that. So I can see him getting a double KO. Question is, does he go for Trick Room? He doesn't. Alright. So you play Ruffs. Probably might have expected the Incineroar switch. There's the Blizzard. So, yeah, I mean, that was a good play Ruff. Okay, he does get the double knockout. But I can stop Trick Room at this point. <sighs> Okay, and that Hyper Voice did a lot. <sighs> the scary thing is his Incineroar is still gonna give me some trouble. All right, uh, I can get rid of this Mimikyu. <sighs> I just, uh, minus one Flare, I imagine minus one Flare Blitz picks up Mimikyu. And then I think I Belly Drum, because Obama Snow's not, like, Blizzard will probably do a lot to Snorlax. It's just, I don't I don't know if I want a Belly Drum or not. Oh, and he has Low Kick, too. I feel like I have to Belly Drum. And I have to... Do I need to stop? No, I don't think I need... No, I don't need to stop Trick Room. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go ahead and Flare Blitz that. Oh, no, actually, he's... Yeah, he'll Will-O-Wisp here, now that I think about it. There's more reason to belly drum. Okay, I'll flare blitz this. And I'm gonna go ahead and belly drum. Cause I'm just gonna take the burn. Oh he switched! Oh! Oh you know, I was totally willing to take the burn because I just need the damage. Cause like even burned, like being able to get the damage on Incineroar would be fantastic. Let's see if he protects a bomb of snow. He doesn't. Alright. Yeah, no reason to fake us. We'll get rid of a bomb of snow and I'll get Billy drummed. He's gonna have to burn. You know, he's yeah, he's gonna have to burn me. Hmm. But he probably fakes out Snorlax. Or not Snorlax. But if I had to guess, he fakes out Incineroar and Will O Wisp. Goes for Will O Wisp on Snorlax. Alright. So we're belly drummed. He has he's gonna wanna burn Snorlax now. Oh man. Shoot, alright. So it's just a matter of if I can beat this Incineroar, because he has low kick. 
And I am at minus one with my Incineroar. I believe it's minus one. Yeah. Yeah, you would fake out- you want to fake out Incineroar Will-O-Wisp. Snorlax. So... I'm gonna try- I- I don't- I don't see a way around that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go for the Flare Blitz spell Protect. And I'm gonna see if he doesn't opt to fake out Incineroar. Cause if he doesn't, I should be in pretty good shape. I don't know if he knows I have Protect. If he's like fully aware of this team, so let's find out. Um, let's see if he just fakes out Incineroar. He should. Oh, he doesn't. Awesome. I think. Yeah, I, I, I think I think we win there. Yeah, I didn't know if you would expect protect or not on Snorlax. He actually just doubled it, and we pick it up. All right. That should be game, because I don't. Unless he, maybe maybe if he could crit low kick. That might be the way he wins. Yeah, I could like if he crits low kick, that would probably be like the the main way. So I will flare blitz and I will frustration. So he does. I am. Let's see. Yeah, let's see if he goes for low kick. Um, although actually I don't know if I I have the berry, so I don't know if I can win the one v one. So there's the low kick. Let's see if he gets a crit. Uh, he doesn't. Uh, I don't know. It might have been close. If he crit, that would have been really close, but. But we do take out the Instant Roar. Alright, good game to Aaron. Uh, I definitely had the advantage because I I knew like everything about his team because I've watched all his videos with his team so far. So I think in a best of three, that would be a lot it'd be a lot different because now, you know, he knows some of my sets and he knows my I have protect on my uh Yeah, he'll know I have protect on my guard or my Snorlax. So but yeah, so like I, I had a huge advantage with at, with the information game there. And that that put me ahead right off the bat. Um, but either way, good game to Aaron. I thought that, that was a lot of fun. Uh, glad I got to face you on the channel. I think that's kind of something I was hoping to run into at some point. So, all right. Uh, so yeah, I should have, actually, I do want to save that. Nah, I don't need to save it. It's on the channel. So anyways, um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to, I'll link his channel in the description below. Obviously you guys all know, you should all know who Aaron Zang is in his YouTube channel. So I imagine... You know, I imagine I don't need to uh, link it, but I'm going to go into it anyways. And I'll link his Twitter as well. Um, but yeah, check him out. He's really, he's really great. He's a really great guy. I have, you know, I got, to, I have met him in person. I have played him at Worlds. And um, yeah, it's just like, he's a, he's really helpful. He tries, you know, he's really helpful for the community. That's why he's doing his channel. And he's always trying to find ways to improve the game. And, you know, he's, and he's a really nice guy. So I really have, I have a lot of respect for Aaron. And I still, you know, to this day, I still watch his channel. And I, and that's how I started getting into BGC was watching his channel. And watching him play and just analyzing how he played, his his commentary. And that made me into the player I am today. So it's like, I'm really grateful for what he's done uh, for BGC. Because I would, probably wouldn't be here right now doing this if uh, it wasn't for Aaron. So, you know, thanks Aaron. Really appreciate what you do. And I'm glad we got to face and I'm uh, on, on here. So anyways... So we find our next opponent, rating of 1600 from Japan, rocking a team of Charizard, Landorus, Cresselia, Coco, Metagross, and Snorlax. Uh, so he's looking like that dual Mega. We did face a team like that before, but he's definitely going to bring the Metagross, because Metagross is really good against my team. Um, yeah, Metagross. I would see Metagross, Snorlax, Coco, Landorus. I could see him de uh, easily bringing those. So, trying to think how to deal with that. Oh man, yeah, Metagross is such a pain. It's probably gonna have Ice Punch. I'll probably have to lead, I'll have to lead Incineroar. Hmm. Incineroar, I kind of just want to lead Incineroar Coco. But I'm afraid of him having Scarf Lando, which would not surprise me. Um. Plus he had, okay, so I'm gonna go... I'm gonna lead Gardevoir, Incineroar. I'm gonna go Amoongus, Coco in the back. I think, I think I'm okay with that. Uh, shoot, now I kinda want Landorus. That's nah, too late. Yeah, I kinda think I want Landorus, cause now I was thinking about it, I was like, I really want a Stomping Tantrum switch in. 
And another Intimidator would have been really good. The only thing is, like, because I'm a Salt Mist, and that's probably Ice Punch Metagross, that it's really, really threatening. And then when I think about it, maybe I didn't even want to bring... Uh, I probably didn't even want to bring... I bring the Cresselia, I'm just... I probably didn't even want to bring the... Uh, Gardevoir. I should have... Uh, I, I, you know, it's a game where I want to bring everything, but... It's really hard to do. Uh, so I'll trace Clear Body. Not the most helpful. Um... Now I really want to fake out Metagross. But him protecting Metagross... Actually, he doesn't really need to protect. Because if I fake out Metagross and he doesn't protect, then Stomping Tantrum can just KO. I wonder if he's aware of that. I could also switch in Coco. Mm, this one's hard. Yeah, I kind of regret bringing Gardevoir already. I wish I had brought Snorlax instead, or even Landorus. So, he could alternatively set up Trick Room. Oh man, I'm gonna switch into Amoongus, and I'm gonna knock off. I'm gonna knock off the Metagross. This, I'm, mm, I think he's gonna protect. Cause I'm thinking like he could, Switch into oh I'm switching that probably Lando yeah there's Landorus gets an intimidate now he's gonna, he's probably just gonna protect Metagross here what maybe didn't even bring Snorlax I'd imagine Coco's in the back he does protect okay um how important is oh actually Z move Lando nah that kind of makes sense. I really need to take care of this Metagross. Oh man, alright, let's... I think I protect Incineroar, Spore, Landorus. So... Yeah, I'll protect... I'll protect Spore here. <sighs> could be ground... He could be ground man. He still could be. Another reason to protect here. Knocking off that Landers would have been great, or the Cresselia instead, but... So he goes- oh, he has Hammer Arm! Oh! And U-turn. He doubles. Alright, so we'll put Landers to sleep, and we see he's not- he's not a- or he's not Scarf. Hmm, now that I see Hammer Arm, that makes it interesting. I definitely- oh, I'm definitely gonna Rage Powder. I'm just gonna Rage Powder, and... I knock off or flare blit? I, I can also switch rage powder. It seems kind of weird. Switch rage. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. I kind of want. I wouldn't mind keeping an Incineroar around. It's kind of weird to switch rage powder, but I just don't want any attack going into. Ah, oh, dang! I was really hoping he didn't do that. Because now he can just switch out Metagross into his own Landorus. I think I'm gonna probably Z move the Coco then. So here's Coco. I'm gonna Rage Powder. He probably goes for Ice Punch. But I wanted to ensure he doesn't like fire off like a Iron Head. Yeah, there's the Ice Punch. So doesn't activate Barry, but I'll switch out. I think I'm gonna switch out, and I'm going to Gigabolt Coco. Is that is that right? Yeah, because he probably switches Metagross out into the other thing. Do I go into guard, guardy? I could, because I could trace Intimidate. I do. Yeah, let's go into Gardevoir. <sighs> Gigavolt to Coco. Problem is, Gigavolt is what I need to... I'm gonna Gigavolt Coco. He's switching, he's switching Metagross into Landris. Yeah, see, I'm just gonna, I could, uh, maybe Volt Switch would've been better, actually. I might have wanted to bolt switch, but he hasn't. He hasn't taken a turn of sleep, so I will be able to hyper voice here. Is he actually would be really great? He wins the speed tie. He bolt switches back into Metagross, and I just get rid of Metagross. That's a uh, all right. First of all, I want to trace Intimidate, and I do. So I'll Intimidate Landorus. So he's at minus one. Yeah, I actually already really. I really want him to win the speed tie and go for bolt switch, and bolt switch out into. Uh... Now I, I get the Z move off, so he'll live this. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd have been really cool if I could volt switch the off like that, but it's all right. Cause yeah, this, I don't. Yeah, this does a lot, but it doesn't care. All right, so we'll get a lot of damage off. Volt switch probably would have been better, cause I saving the the Z move. Oh, he goes for the Z move himself. Oh no, if this isn't a Gardevoir, because I'm not Mega, I might go down. And I won't have my free, uh... I won't get my free... What's it called? My free Hyper Voice off. Alright, so is this in the guard? Yeah, I don't know if... In, in train. Ah, uh, if I was Mega Evolved, I would have lived. Dang. Alright, well that makes this Landorus really problematic, actually. Shoot. Oh yeah, that's uh, not good at all. Alright, let's go into Incineroar. I should have Volt... Uh, or I could have let him KO. I should have let him KO Omungus. I didn't think he'd go right for the Gigavolt at all. I figured he'd like Volt Switch or something else. So, I'm just gonna fake out... Lando, and I'm gonna Dazzling Gleam. Coco probably protects or switches. Yeah. I should have- I could have called that too. Because is Cress. Lando? Yeah, okay, faking out was stupid because... Although, I, I like the chip damage. I should have just attacked. Okay, he has Assault Vest. But he- hang, he's at minus two. And Salve Moon is in the back. Oh man, this is uh, this is brutal. Losing Gardevoir is actually really bad. All right, let's Flare Blitz the Landris slot. I think I'm gonna Dazzling Gleam again, just for the chip damage. Use it all. Is please be Metagross, and it's Coco. No, that's smart. Just clears the Intimidate. I mean, getting rid of Coco isn't the worst thing in the world. But this Flare Blitz will, will get some... Not crit the... Oh, double crit. <laughs> the one on Coco obviously didn't matter. Uh, Icy Wind. Good good play. Really, really good play there. Because now he can bring in Landris. But he would have to wake up. He can also bring in Metagross. Now I wish I knocked off, but I really want to get rid of Landris. Nah, does I hit the berry? Okay, it doesn't. Hmm. Does bring in Lando? Does he wake up? Do I risk him waking up? The thing is, I can't KO Landris. I'm gonna knock off the Lando. I'm gonna switch into a Mungus. I need to keep Coco around, and then I need to keep Coco, and I need to get Metagross into Thunderbolt range. Oh, he went for Ally Switch. Dang, I didn't think about that. Stay asleep. Please, okay. So that stays asleep. He can't Earthquake now. Because he can't Earthquake his own Metagross. That's like, that's bad. That'd be really, really bad for him. Electricity goes away. I can? Oh, I can spoil the Metagross now. Mm. What does he go for? I'd really like to get Incineroar out, but... Double Amoongus, I would think. He can also protect EQ, but he needs to wake up to do that. Oh, man. This is tough. How important... I need- ah, gosh. Incineroar is my really my, my win condition. Alright, I'm gonna switch into Coco. Oh man, I'm gonna... I'm gonna Spore. I'm just gonna Spore Metagross. Let's see how this goes. I really- I wanna- a 3 turn sleep would be really nice here, but I think he protect EQs or he tries to wake up. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, alright. If Landers can stay asleep here, because I think he has one more chance, and he does. Cool. So we get a three turn sleep. 
He can't EQ. He, he'll EQ himself if he does. So... I'm gonna Volt Switch. And I'm gonna Spore. Landris. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Just to get Coco out. And then I can- Volt Switch should hopefully put Minigross into Thunderbolt range. He may go for the double. If he goes for the double, that'd be a really solid play. He doesn't. Okay. And I think... Um... Problem is if he attacks... No, he can say he's not EQing. He can't EQ. He KO himself if he's going for EQ. We get Intimidate on both, and that's really good. So getting Coco in safely worked out really well. He goes for Iron Head. Does he Earthquake? I don't think. He's gonna probably have to Rock Slide. Yeah. Does it hit my berry? Oh, he flinched me. Shoot. Okay. So I can fake out the Landris, but I can't Spore. Uh, gosh. Missing that sucked. This is, this is really hard here. This is really, really hard. I think what I want to do is I'm going to protect Spore. So, if he knocks out... He protects. Okay. Cool. Because I was going to say, if he knocks out a Moongus, I can bring Coco in and I can Thunderbolt the Metagross. He'd probably have to go for a double protect. So I'll protect. He's going to go for Earthquake. This won't knock out a Moongus. And I should get Spore off. Yeah, he'd have to crit to knock out. Oh, this Landorus is such a problem right now. Such, such a problem. Okay. I live, get the Spore off. Now I can Rage Powder Flare Blitz. And then beating this Landorus will be tough. Will be tough. So I'll Rage Powder and Flare Blitz. Yeah, so that should get rid of Metagross, and then it's just getting rid of this Landris before it can uh, kill me with Earthquake. I'm really worried I'm gonna need the sleep turns. So yeah, there's the Ice Punch. That'll KO. Like, I could've, I could've read that, but that's just way too risky. Oh boy. I lose this... I lose this if he wakes up. Okay, I need this to hit my berry as well. It does, okay. Oh boy. I think Incineroar can take a minus one earthquake. Coco is a roll. Because Coco at full lives a minus one earthquake with their max attack adamant. Uh, I feel like I protect knockoff. Uh, because then that'll put him in D-Gleam range. Alright, I'm gonna protect knockoff. Okay, because my thought is if I were to D-Gleam knockoff now, I wouldn't KO him, most likely. Okay, stay asleep. Alright, that should be game. Because I think if he wakes up, I think Incineroar lives a minus one earthquake from this range. I think it'd be really close. And now D-Gleam KOs, anyways. And that was my thought too, like, get that not full vest off so Dazzling Gleam can KO. So now I can just Flare Blitz. Dazzling Gleam, and that should win the game. <sighs> Any forfeits. Alright, good game to our opponent. Whew, that was hard. That was a tough one. That, that was a really tough match with that. I think the way the way I played that end game had to be like had to be solid like that, because once because that Landris and that Metagross became really problematic. And I kinda wish I brought Landris instead of Gardevoir. Because then I could have spammed Intimidate. I would have a ground type switch in. Uh, and I would have used Amoongus to redirect the Ice Punch, and I could have like been faking out the Metagross as well. So, um, but that turn he protected Metagross is really good because if he had, if he had like rocks gone for like Rock Slide plus um, what is it? Oh, like Ice Punch, he probably could have just taken out Amoongus there. Eh, maybe it'd be hard to say, or he could have like Iron or done like Iron Head Rock Slide or something like that, but. So that worked out in our favor. And that's what's cool. That's why I've been really liking Protect and Cinderor. A lot of people aren't expecting it right now because it usually doesn't have it. So that's been really good. So Protect, Snorlax coming in clutch the first game, and then Protect and Cinderor coming in clutch the uh, last game. 
or yeah, the last game. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun this week. I really like this team. Looks like, I think we went eight and two with it. We did climb above 1700 with it. So yay. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, and I hope you guys have a great weekend. I know I will. I get to see my wife again after she's been gone all week. So anyways, guys, I, like I said, have a great weekend. Enjoy. Watch Matt next week. I don't know what he's going to bring. I should ask him because I'm really curious myself. Um, anyways, cool. Yeah. I don't know what to say. So have a good one guys. Uh, take care. Like the, like the, like the channel, like the video, subscribe, no, like the channel, subscribe to the video. So <laughs> All right, guys, sorry. Uh, take it easy. Uh, later. <laughs>